do not know me. My name is Salandia Hammond, affectionately known as Sue Ham Baby, and I am running for county councilwoman in district number seven. Now, a lot of you may say, who is this lady, this blonde hair lady? Where did she pop out from? Well, I assure you that I'm a resident of South Carolina. Just left and went to the Marine Corps, did nine years there, got my bachelor's degree and decided to come back here and do some rental properties, uh, get retired from the federal prison where I helped to manage a $33 million budget and not one time did we ever go into deficit. So that's just a little bit about me, but my most proudest achievement is the fact that I am a mother of three and I love the people. That is the truth. <laughs> so I just want to say to you guys, I am running for office simply because I'm sick and tired, just like a lot of you, sick and tired. And I look at the faces and I want to say to each and every one of you, though I do not know you by name, and if I did, I wouldn't call your name as a tactic to try to get into your heads. Though I may not come out and visit each and every one of you because it is impossible for me to do that, I want you to know that I genuinely care about each and every one of you. Because you see, I have the opportunity to live anywhere but I want to be here in Williamsburg County because I'm tired of us being labeled as last, lost, and forgotten. You know, we've been doing a lot of talking. We've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of talking. A lot of rhetoric. It's time out for that. Let's put some action behind that talk. We at the table, but when we get up from the table, it's time to put action. We're too, you know, for too long we've been reactionary. We want to react to problems. It's time to be proactive. How do we do that? Guys, Williamsburg County is a strong vessel when we work together. When we work together, the mighty war will make even the lion in the jungle look back and say, where did that come from? But we've got to work together. And that starts with county council. That starts with the school. That starts with the supervisor. That starts with our senator. That starts with our representatives. Everybody, citizen, if you are a citizen of Williamsburg County, I don't care what district you live in, what precinct you live in, you are responsible for helping to bring this thing back to life. And I have the vision that we are going to thrive again. But let me be frank with you. Do I think I can do it by myself? No. No. I'm not standing up here to criticize anybody. But what I am saying to you is that all way of thinking is what has gotten us to this point. And it's the very reason that we cannot progress. And if anybody knows me, I'm just like Butch Woods, I'm gonna tell it like a T.I. is. I'm not gonna come around and try to bring you a fruit basket in exchange for your vote, because you ought to know that your vote is worth more than a fruit basket. I'm not gonna come and shake your hand and talk God out of one side of my mouth, turn my back and then run with the devil. I'm not going to do that. I tell it like a T.I. is and I am who I am. Either you can accept it or reject it, but at the end of the day, I have a heart that beats for the citizens of Williamsburg County. I'm tired of seeing our young people waiting for the day that they can graduate so they can get up out of here. I did it. I did it. Guys, if we are going to grow, it's going to take more than rhetoric. It's going to take more than just hoo ya hoo ya oorah, oorah, oorah. It's going to take action. We've got to make decisions and we've got to follow it with action. And then we've got to work together. Senator, when I am elected, I am looking forward to working with you because you are the senior man there. I'm ready to take this county to the next level. It's time to stop talking about it. I'm ready to work with you, Supervisor. I'm ready to work with you, Attorney Sad. I'm ready to work with all the citizens in Williamsburg County. <laughs> Guys, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. There's a reason why South Carolina is last for everything. There's a reason. Don't be fooled. It's time to step up. And you know, one of my plights is to get more younger people involved. Because I know y'all been running the race a long time. And I know y'all tired. And I was saying to some of my, my friends back there, so my God, when God calls them on the glory, who's going to pick up? Who's going to pick up and run? So guys, I'm running because I want to see change. I want to see things change here. How do we improve our economics? We need eatery, good restaurants. We need better education, and we need entertainment. We've got the land, so why isn't things happening? We've got to get the infrastructure. We've got to get the educational level up. Folks, people aren't going to come here. Jobs aren't going to come here if we don't educate ourselves. Let's just be real, OK? <laughs> education is a priority. And even if we can't get the money we need, guys, guess where change starts? Right here. 
that person looking in the mirror. So I'm tired of being a chronic complainer. I stopped complaining. That's the reason why I decided to run for office. So let's all stop complaining. We already know what the issues are, right? It's time to work for solutions. And I want to thank Bishop Ford because he taught me as a young girl that I can do all things through Christ. But I know that with your help, we can take this county where it needs to be. And I'm asking for your vote for District Number 7, Salandia Hammond, a.k.a. Sue Ham Baby, on June 10th. Please, guys. If I can't have your vote because you don't live in the district, I'm asking for your prayers. But I'm telling you like it is, what you see is what you get. And I care about you, and I'm going to tell it like a T.I. is. And I love helping the people. I'm a go-getter. And I'm not going to say, like I said, I'm not going to talk God out of one side of the mouth. And then out of the other one, talk the devil, run with the devil, and then stab you in the back. So if you're ready to move forward. I'm going to make it where you don't have to flash me down on the road because I'm going to come out to your communities when I'm elected and I'm going to have meetings and I'm not just going to show up when it's election season. I'm going to have meetings to keep you informed because anybody that knows me is, knows that I like to keep the audience informed of what's going on and I'm not just going to wait until it's about election time. So I'm not going to take the 13 minutes. Hopefully you guys know why. If you want to have a, a communication with me outside, I'm available. But I ask you for your prayers and your support, and I ask you for your vote. Let's go. Let's do something. Stop talking. Let's make it happen. Thank you, guys.